वेलकम बैक सो चल ना वी हैव रिटर्न थ्री टेस्ट एंड दैट बेसिकली टेस्ट द ऑथेंटिकेशन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ अवर एप्लीकेशन बिफोर राइटिंग मोर टेस्ट लेट्स जस्ट डिग इन टू द डेटा बेस माइग्रेशन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन वाइल वी आर टेस्टिंग सो करेंटली वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज वी हैव कनेक्टेड अवर डेटा बेस अवर एप्लीकेशन टू अ डेटा बेस क्यू ए पी डस्क इन द माई सिक्वल एंड वी आर यूजिंग द सेम डेटा बेस फॉर अवर testing and we while we installed the project we ran the migration once we also seeded the database and since then we have been using the same database for our testing there can be a requirement or a beneficial feature that you want your database to be fresh before each of the test method that is you want the database to be created fresh and it it to have a default seed data before you run the each test and you don't want the residue from the old test residue data from the old test to be taken over in the next test so this can be done by using the database migration straight so what we will do is we will import the straight and what this will do is it will create the database before running the test and it will drop the database once the test is done if you are not aware with the migration concept so basically in your laravel project you have a database folder and in there there is a migrations folder you can have a migration created for each of the data tables and it basically has an up method and a down method so what data, this database migrations will do is it will run the up command for each of the migrations table before the test method and it will run the down command once the test is completed so in here we have imported the straight and we see that we are using a default user for the application and this is basically from the seed data so if you go into the database seeds you see that there are the seeders defined which is basically to create default database default data in your database for the testing and in here we have a single user which we have been using in our test so we we also want the database to be seeded with the default data so that we can have our testing done so how we can do that is we will override the setup method from the php unit we'll have to of course call the parent setup method and in here we can call the artisan command which basically seeds the database which is db seed so we have made a few changes uh, we have used the database migration straight and we all we are also seeding the data before each test this setup method runs once before executing the test so we will run the test again all the tests to see that if it is running fine so before running the test in database migrations it takes around 7 seconds um let's just see how much time it takes with database migrations so it takes around 11 and a half seconds to run the all the three tests along the with using database migrations and we see that it's more than what we have been taking originally the reason is being it takes time to create the database tables it takes time to see the data and it also takes time to drop the tables so it all adds up and um, will increase the time that you are taking to run the test so the time is increased fractionally for the three test and if you are running a lot of test then this can increase significantly so there must be a good reason to use database migrations when you are running the dusk test this this don't take much of the time when you're running the php unit test because in there we usually go with the sql lite memory database but in here we don't have the option of using sql lite in memory database and we have to go with the mysql or sql lite file database so there should be a good reason to use database migrations if you are considering the time taken to complete all the test 
what i have done personally for the projects that i work on is i have set up my database migrations to run once for the each of the test class instead of the test method so how i have done that is i have declared the artisan command here to refresh the database which is basically same as this thing and i have we will remove this thing we will just define a variable here which will keep track of if the migrations is being run or not so in here we will make use of this static variable if it is false we will run the migrations and we will also change the status of variable to be true so this code will make sure that the migration run only once for the whole of the test class so we will run the test again and see if it makes any difference in the time taken for the test to run it has a slight difference um, but if you are running a lot of tests then you will see that the dif the difference in these two increases significantly so for now we will just go with this approach of running the migration once for the each of the test class for now we have been using the default mysql database to run our operations but there can be a requirement that the database that you are doing your development on should be different from the database that you are running your test on you don't want to mess with the data which on which you are doing the development and this can be done by creating a different environment configuration file specifically for the dusk test so for for now we have a single environment configuration file and when you run the dusk test all the properties are being picked up from here and since we want a different database connection instead of this one what we can do is we will create another file with name env.dusk.local why this name is so .env.dusk tells dusk that use this file when you are running, running the dusk test and dot local signifies on which environment you are running the test so for now we have the environment set to local so this should be same as what you are referring to here so we i i have my environment name set to local so i am using the same name in my environment dot dusk dot local file so what we will do here is we want all the properties here to be same we'll just copy paste all the environment configurations and what i want is instead of mysql i want to use a sqlite file database for my dusk test so i'll change this to sqlite uh, sqlite doesn't need a database name or a username so we'll just remove all of that we will go into the database configuration file and we will just have the database to be database.sqlite so this is the file name where uh, our dusk test will create the database and will carry on the operations from there so we need to have this file created in our database folder so we'll have a new file named database.sqlite all right so now ideally if you run your dusk test by using the php artisan dusk command this should pick up the configurations from env.dusk.local file instead of dot env file let's just run this test and see that if it actually happens so 
so it ran the test and let's just go and check in the SQLite thing that it created the database which is great and uh, it also it is also taking much less time compared to what it's been taking with the mysql database so you can have your environment.does.local file created if you want any of the properties to be different from what you have been using in the development environment and you want it specifically different for a dusk test one thing that has been noticed is when you are using the php artisan serve command to run your application this doesn't always works as expected and it usually picks up the configuration from the env file instead of env.dusk file why that happens is when you are using the php artisan serve command it caches the properties defined here and this is not able to override those properties so in those cases if you are experiencing such problem that even if you have created env.dusk.local file uh, for to override the default configuration in .env and it's still it's not picking the configurations from there what you can do is you can serve the application on a different port and force it to use the env.dusk command so how we can do that is we will serve the application on a different port so by default it was running on 8000 i will use an 8001 port and i will also say that use the dusk.local environment file instead of the default one so we will serve this application so we now have a two set of applications running from the same two set of servers running from the same application and we will go here in our desk in our configuration file and we will change this to use 8001 since we have defined our server to be using this port and now when you run the desk test It should be able to pick up this file and uh, we'll also run the application on this port instead of 8000. We can see that in action by just disabling the headless mode. We will disable the headless mode and we will run the test again. So you can see that it's using 8001 port instead of 8000 and it's also using the SQLite database instead of MySQL. You can have override any of the property which you want specifically different for your Dusk test by using by overriding the configuration file like this. That's it for now. Uh, in the next tutorial, we will see how we can go ahead from here and make use of factory methods to create data on fly for our test and we will write more tests for authentication see you in the next video